the first thing you're going to want to do to be able to create a virtual camera using OBS is you're going to want to download OBS uh, at obsproject.com. So I'm going to put the link in the description. So you're going to download that first. And notice you have the option to download the Windows, Mac, or Linux version. So I'm going to focus on the Windows version of this today. You can also download and install it and tweak it to use it as a virtual camera on Mac as well. Uh, but right now we're going to focus on the Windows. I will put the links in the description if you would like to download the uh, resources for Mac as well. So you're going to go ahead and download and install that. The other thing you're going to want to download and install is this link right here, this virtual camera option right here. So you're going to see this installer. I'll put the link in the description as well. And then now I'm going to show you how to set up those scenes inside of OBS to get a really cool look for your virtual camera options in Google Me, Zoom, as well as Microsoft Teams or any video conferencing software as well. The other thing I use this for is for StreamYard. This is how I can make it a really cool look for my live streams and be able to do some camera switching and do some other really cool stuff. So uh, we've now downloaded OBS and I wanna go in here and I wanna set up some scenes and the scenes are what you're gonna do to set up your virtual camera. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've renamed this. This is Tech Tips 411. It's gonna just say scene for you. You can right click on it and you can rename it or you can just leave it called scene and then add another one, scene two and so forth. So I actually have a number of scenes set up here, which I'm gonna hop over here real quick and show you guys. Notice I've got all these different scenes, things that I want to be able to do. So uh, that's what's really cool about using OBS is that I can set up different scenes and different effects that I want to happen inside of OBS uh, and then be exported as my virtual camera. So let me hop back over here to our uh, demo scenes and let's set them up. You're going to add in your video camera. So I'm gonna hit plus and depending on what you're using, you can do a video capture device is gonna be able to pull up your webcam if you have an external webcam or one that's built in. Uh, I'm gonna use iOS camera. And as you can see, I've added in my camera here and I'm gonna click okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this out so it fits in the entire frame. And you'll notice I've got a green screen behind me and I wanna be able to use the green screen effect. All I have to do is hit right click and click on filters. And I'm gonna add a filter that says chroma key. And when I do that, it's gonna automatically remove that background back there. And it did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna click close and it took out all the green that's behind me. Um, and this is a pretty cool option to use the green screen effect if you want to do that. Not required, but it's something that I like. Pretty good, right? So now I'm gonna go in and add a couple other elements. So I'm gonna hit this plus and I wanna add in my background. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna upload an image and I'm just gonna call this one background, click okay. And it's gonna ask me to find it. And I've, I've got a resource folder that I've got all sorts of different things here on my desktop. So I've already got my OBS streaming resources. So as you can see, I can add in a background and it can be a video background or it could be a still background. And in this case, we're gonna, it's gonna put this in and it's gonna, and I want this to be my still background. I'm going to drag that image. It needs to be below the camera. So now I've got a background back there. It's kind of cool, right? So next up, I wanna add in some other elements just to kind of add to this. So what I wanna do next is I wanna maybe add in my uh, logo. So we're gonna browse in that same folder. Let's go back one here. And you'll notice I've got several different things I've saved. So I want to put my Tech Tips 411 logo on there. I can move it around. I can move me around. Here's the thing. These locks come in really handy. So if I lock that down, I can move this. Once I click on it, there we go. I can move it over here. How are we looking so far? Pretty cool, right? So I can add in all the elements that I want. I can put in overlays. I can say, hey, I want this to be here. I could add in a Genmoji. So let's do that really quick. I'm going to name these sources um, whatever I want so I can find them. So there's Genmoji. Click OK and Genmoji can hang out there with me. So as you can see, I can add several different layers to this. And then um, I'm also gonna add in that really cool animated background. So if you wanna have the ability to have this animated border around your um, layout of your webcam, you can add it by creating an animated gradient border. So I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can take this and create it. So you'll notice you can have it as a rectangle or as a circle, you can change the width and the height. Uh, if you need to, don't really worry about those, but really you're going to focus on whether you want two-tone, fade to white, black, or rainbow. And I like the rainbow option as well. The one that I have right now is actually a two-tone color, which is my Tech Tips 411 uh, colors. So what I'm going to do here is I figure the one that I want, and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose to get a uh, URL. And what it's going to, I copy that a URL, it's going to give me this. So you're going to want to copy that and you're going to paste it in to your um 
OBS studio once you get it set up to add it to your scene. So I'm going to put the link in the description for you to grab this. It's a design option and it just looks really, really, really cool inside of your um, OBS studio scenes. So you saw how I made the, uh, the animated logo uh, border that goes around and I saved that link. So now I'm going to go ahead and add it. So I'm going to hit that plus and I'm going to choose to use a browser link and what I and I'm going to call this animated again, name them whatever you want. And I'm going to say animated border, click OK. And I'm going to paste that link in, click OK. And notice I'm going to write, I need to move this around. So we're going to move Jinmoji over here and we're going to lock her so she doesn't move. So anything I don't want to go anywhere, I'm going to lock it, hit those locks. That means I'm not going to accidentally click on it and move it. So notice I've got this file here. This is not big enough by any means. So the trick is here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this. Notice it's red and I'm going to select the Alt key and I'm going to drag this up here and over here a little bit more, a little bit more. Bring it in close as I can get it. Okay. Now I'm going to drag these corners, drag it from the corner and drag it all the way around so that it fits. So these, see how these gray bars just popped up? That's telling me that that's going to be outside the viewable frame and that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to, there we go. looks pretty good. And I'm going to leave it like that. And again, if I want to lock it so it doesn't go anywhere, I can do that. So this is how I've set up my scene with a couple of different elements to make this interesting. Now, once I've got it the way I want it, I'm going to turn on that virtual camera. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to choose tools and I'm going to say virtual camera and I'm going to make sure I've hit start. Now you can automatically have it auto start that as soon as you open OBS, it knows to turn on that virtual camera. I don't think that you, it just depends on you. I don't have it auto start because not every time I turn on OBS, am I actually using it as a virtual camera? Most of the time, yes, but I also use it for recording as well. So you can turn that on or off, but I'm going to go ahead and now it's a virtual camera. So now I've opened up Zoom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the settings option. There we go. And uh, I'm going to go to video and you can see that I this is what's showing through. This is what people are going to see when they look at uh, me on a Zoom call. So I what I've done is the camera is OBS. By default, this is my Logitech webcam and I've got this is the EOS webcam. This goes to my Canon camera if I want to use that as my camera. But if I turn it to OBS camera, it's bringing that in. What's Whatever I've set up in OBS is being pushed out and that's what people are going to see. How cool is that? So several steps to it. Remember, you're going to download OBS. You're going to set up the scene with whatever you want. If you want to add this really cool animated border, I'm going to put the link in the description for that. Uh, you bring it in as a browser source. You can add in any video el elements you want. This could be a video element in the back or it could be an image in the back. You choose how you want this to look, but this is how you can really kind of level up your Google Meets, your Microsoft Teams, your Zoom calls, whatever kind of vir virtual conference stuff that you're doing is how you level it up doing this. If you thought this was beneficial, please give this video a thumbs up and a like. Tell me uh, what you thought about it and if you're going to give it a try. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so because um, I'd love to hear other things that you'd like for me to give you tips and tricks about. And uh, so this is how you level up your Google Meets and your Zoom calls and your Microsoft Team calls with your learners. So let me know if you have any questions. So thanks so much for watching.